everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are getting ready to work on the inside liners and the cover for Let's Get Artsy. So I decided to color block these two. I just thought, thought it might make it a little bit more interesting. So what I did is I put them face to face and just cut a diagonal, and I just picked an angle. Um, you, you don't even have to split them. You'll have enough paper to do two full sides but i just thought it might be fun to add a little interest okay man my my vision is really blurry today for some reason just put some eye drops in to help with that but i'm having a hard time seeing lines anyway enough about me hope you guys are having a good day we are winding down on this album and as i mentioned in my earlier in the video um speaking of winding down i am winding down my efforts with scrap and create and um although i may do some projects in the future you guys won't see me on a regular basis there on the channel um i'm thinking about doing some other craft things i haven't really figured it out but if you guys are interested and you want to see what what i'm up to um, I'm probably going to create a new channel just under my name, Daphne Huckabee. Um, and you can just kind of see what I'm doing. I haven't done that yet because I really kind of want to have an idea of what my audience is going to be and what I what I plan to do. It'll be some kind of tutorial teaching um, and craft or art. Um, so we'll see. I do want to spend a little bit more time drawing um, and possibly painting, which I haven't done for years. So I'd like to get back to that a little bit. So maybe I could share some of what I'm doing uh, in that regard. I do not consider myself, <laughs> um, you know, good enough to be a teacher, but I could certainly share kind of my enthusiasm and, you know, lessons learned. Um, so again, I'm not really sure what I'll be doing, um, but keep a, keep a lookout for Daphne Huckabee. And that's H-U-C-K-A-B-Y. And I'll probably have some kind of a channel in the future. Um, trying to figure out how to do something uh, that includes my sister as well. Um, we enjoy each other's company, and so it'll be fun to do something with her that's project-based. She's extremely creative. Okay, so I'm just um, trimming this to fit. I'm going to stay out of my hinge area so that the paper doesn't buffer. Okay, and I think it looks good. I think the areas that I just trimmed, although there it is. I was going to say, although I don't see it. <laughs> So as it stands now, yes, I have used every single one of the 12 by 12s and the collection pack and the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. There are none that I have not cut through. So that's pretty unusual. I usually have three or four left over, but, you know, some combination of, um, patterns and solids and collection pack, but nothing. I got nothing. Okay, and this goes like this. So I think I'll do the same thing. I'll glue the corner in first. Anyway, uh, so back to Scrap and Create. So Julie will continue to run the business. Um, and my part has always been sort of uh, technical support, social media, and specifically YouTube and content. 
so she is working with some other designers to help fill um, any void that I might leave, but the day-to-day -day shipping and operations will continue to reside with Julie, and I'm sure she would be happy if you continue to patronize the shop, and she's going to do her best to get some content out for you guys on the products we carry. And one of the ways she's doing that is with a designer um, that you guys have seen on the channel recently. Um, Christine Woods, Christina Woods, who is previously a Graphic 45 ambassador and still does pre special projects for them. So you, if you're not familiar with her um, from our channel, it, you know, you can take a look at some of the things that she's done for Graphic 45 as well as either an ambassador. And I, she has her own channel. So she will release her videos on her channel and then Julie will add a playlist over on our channel to let you know. So if you haven't already, you should go on over to her channel and subscribe so you'll be notified whenever she has new content. And then, of course, it'll be shared across the platforms. But, um, you know, she's got more content on her channel than just the paper that um, we work with. So do go over there, take a look. Um, she's a very talented artist I highly recommend. She's a good teacher and a good artist. And it seems as though this is kind of a dwindling crowd these days. I used to see a lot more content coming out in general. And uh, things have certainly slowed down for paper crafters. I don't know what's going on. Everybody went to work and got too busy, I guess. We're seeing a downward trend with some of the paper providers as well. They're just not selling as much paper and... There just doesn't seem to be as many shops and whatnot. So if you find something you like, subscribe to it and patronize it so it doesn't go away. Like a lot of our brick and mortars did. Anyway, enough about that. I can't thank you guys enough for taking time to come over to Scrap and Create and subscribe and watch uh, for the years that you have been joining me on my uh, journey here with paper crafts. Um, everybody... It's, it's a really humbling experience, and it's a very generous community. So I've really come to, um, you know, admire this group, you, our group of people in this tribe, and, and do plan to, whatever I do next, um, have it be around this group of people. I think they're very generous, nice, fun-loving people very positive. Get enough negative, don't have to go out looking for it. Okay, let's get these pages in. So I did something different, and you might see it. These look extra tall because I made them an inch tall instead of a half inch like I normally do. I'm not recommending it. It's just something I'm trying right now. Um, that's one of the things I want to do um, with my time is there's some things that I always wanted to work on with scrapbooks that I never had time to. And one of them is the hinge process. I don't like it. <laughs> there's got to be something better. And I'd like to piddle around with that and try to find something I like better. I don't like the fact that this doesn't lay down flat. Some of the solutions that address that, I don't like the way they look. The pages can move around too much. So I'd like to actually set aside some time and try to come up with um, a binding system that I like better. Um, and if and when I do, I will make sure that that content is available on YouTube under Daphne Huckabee. And then, of course, if Julie's still in business and that channel's still up, I'll put it out there too. And uh, to assure you, anything that has a video right now out on YouTube, it'll stay there. Nothing's going to happen to that channel. It will live in an infamy. <laughs> So, which is one of the things that we communicated when we first started, and we're sticking to that. Those, uh, oh, I just tore something. Oh, I hate that. Those will remain available for you to finish your projects. Okay, I was trying to make sure it was in straight. One of the things with this, changing it to an inch instead of a half inch, is I really got to reach in there to get my tape. 
to get under it. <laughs> Further than I like. So there's a lesson learned. Maybe I should just take the tape off first. I like to leave it on in case I want to move it. need a hook tool that doesn't have a big bubble on it. That would help. That would go a long way. Okay, so I have this little saying here that tore, so I'm going to fix it real quick. It came off its mount. So I was being too rough. But we're not going to tell anybody. And no one will be the wiser. I'm going to be careful with that. This time I think I am going to at least fold these down. so I don't have to reach all the way inside. Yeah. I'm just checking my sequence, make sure I'm putting these in the order I want. And I am. Um, Of course it tears. So one of the things that you're going to discover if you do this album, I don't know, maybe I'll use this, it's flat all the way, is I have, a, I left a lot of um, design embellishments on the table so you're going to be able to go back and really embellish this album once you decide what you're going to do with the pictures um, there's going to be plenty of goodies to use Let's leave it just slightly Let me see if I can straighten this up just a little well that monkey in around is slid down about an eighth of an inch or slid up Okay, I can tell you already this one inch is, I hate it. <laughs> Three quarters of an inch might be the answer. This is too cumbersome. It's too far to reach in. So I'm going to take one side off and then fold one side down. it's so tall I did a miter on one side just to make it easier to slide down um, I don't usually do that because it, it goes on fine um, but with one inch I was worried about it bending before I got the uh, page on okay now our pages are in it's time to focus on the cover and the spine. So, so I'm using eight by eights. Now I'm going to use this for the spine. I'm going to use this on the cover. So let's see if I need to trim it down a little bit. That's the right orientation. Yeah, I do. Okay. Eight by eight. 
and ink this coat down and then we're going to figure out the spine. made this um, the cover 8 by 10 because I made a mistake when I cut my chipboard and you can see it's peeking out a little bit. When it's sitting straight it's not so bad um, but you can see it's peeking out just a little bit and that's why if you do yours per the tutorial instructions that won't be the case. Okay let's see I probably need to trim this. Yes I do. Okay, again, 8x8, eight eight. this is also the 8x8. Eight eight. I'm going to ink it. And I'm going to put tape on here. I think I'm going to run out. Because this spine um, has so much activity, I prefer to use tape than glue. Um, glue can dry and get brittle, and the tape will remain flexible. Um, I've seen people do it both ways, though. But I've not... Let me think about that. I've not had a spine peel off. I have had a spine crack, <laughs> but I haven't had it peel. Um, from use. What I'm trying to get a sense of is where uh, where the turn is going to be in the paper because I want to make sure this actually has tape on it. start with my tape in toward the center. And especially want to So why why am I doing all these lines of tape instead of just one big piece? Well, um oops. The the paper can stretch a little um, but it can't stretch if there's no space between the tape, if it's just a solid piece. So that's one of the reasons why you want to be adding these lines of tape instead of just solid tape, is to give the book or the paper on the spine some room to stretch, which, is, which would happen between each one of these. Now I'm going to go to a thinner gauge. 
to go right over where it needs to stretch the most, which is where the cover meets the spine and the back meets the spine. I didn't mention it, but I uh, I mentioned it was from the 8x8 pack, but um, it is 8 inches across, and I just took off enough to have a little bit of a border on the top and bottom, so it's 8 inches wide. That is true with this as well. So it's 8 inches wide, and it's just a little bit shy of that. So you're going to use a full... Um, a full 8x8, eight eight, full 8x8. Eight eight. I'm going to burnish this so it's just a little easier to get the tape back in off. Sometimes, if you don't do that, what happens is you go to pick up the backing and it picks up everything because the tape hasn't really grabbed hold of the paper beneath it. Okay. make sure I've got that going the right direction. Yeah. I don't know why, but I didn't ink that itch, so I'm going to do that real quick. It's white. Yeah, somehow I just missed it. Okay, I'm going to turn sideways. I'm going to line these up as best I can. And it looks like it's going to be crooked because I can see here that I, I switch, switch that around. So I'm going to make it as straight as I can. And I may wind up putting a subsequent piece or a sticker between the two to mask any imperfections. Uh, if needed. Mm, yeah, because your books are never perfect. Um, part of that is because when you wrap it with the paper, it adds, you know, to it. And that kind of goes on and on. Okay, now, as I've mentioned in many videos before, if you're going to go around the spine, you need to open your book to about a 45 degree angle. So it's not fully open, not fully closed. It's right there in between at 45. And that way it won't, it'll minimize the chance that it um, cracks and also that it buckles. So if it's all the way closed, when you go to open it, you'll have a buckle here. And if it's all the way open, when you go to close it, it's going to crack. So you're trying to find that happy medium place. And 45 degrees seems to be it. And I'm sure I learned that from somebody else. Um, but I can't tell you. <laughs> Not because it's a secret, because I can't remember. <laughs> I'm terrible about that kind of stuff. I can't remember anything these days. So, all right. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to start taking off the rest of the tape. I'm 
to stand up so I can get some perspective. can see now where it's really far off on one side. That's unfortunate. But I think it's the book itself, not the installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with a straight edge and do what I can uh, to trim up a little on this side. And you can see it slightly moved from when I first started taking the backing off the tape. And that's because it's stretching a little bit, pulling and stretching. I also should have made sure this was square before I started, but I didn't. I always do that. I don't know why. I should. I should know by now my fingers don't, my nails don't work. Okay. okay. I think I'm going to try to trim it before I tape it all the way down. And I'm going to use a ruler and my pencil, kind of draw a line in, see if I can't. make this a little bit better or conceal it. Okay. I want to use my scissors, at least for part of it. Ooh, it's tough because of the tape. I'm going to try to do the rest with the exacto knife. So I'm just cutting it at a slight angle. So the trim doesn't have to go around the corner here. And that's a huge improvement in terms of the look being even on either side. And rather than try to deal with that, I'm going to black it out because the white part is extremely absorbent. And if I continue to work it, there's a chance I'll pull the tape up. There. Ta-da! It's always a solution, right? Even if it's not perfect, no one's going to notice that except me. I'm the only person that knows. I'm going to get a fine tip and then go over that last little bit. But this one's too fat. So leave it alone for now. Well, not perfect, but it looks darn good. Okay. 
Okay, the next thing is her final piece for the back. It needs to come from these pieces. So I'm trying to decide what I want. It's one look. So that's the cover. That would be the back. It's not bad, but not great. It has glue in it at least. I don't like that. Kind of done with the purple. And orange is a no-go. Yeah, I think this is what we're doing. We also have just solid, which is kind of boring, I think. So I don't like this flower pattern next to that. So this is what I'm going with. I'm double checking to make sure I didn't have another piece of paper somewhere set aside that I forgot about. It does not appear to be the case. At least not big enough. And I should mark it. This is where you can see how crooked it is. See that? Pretty big difference. Okay. Sorry, I cannot see. So I need to trim quite a bit more. Okay, that looks much better. I'm going to go ahead and butt it next to the blue and use uh, some stickers right there. I marked it, now I can't see it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking through Vaseline. <laughs> That's how blurry they are. Okay, close enough, we will call it. Now I gotta look and see if there's an orientation. It looks like this is the right way. going to use a sticker. Which I don't use very often. But I think it's perfect for this occasion.
There we go. Look at that. Perfect. There is another half to this. If you're not happy with that, you can add this additional strip. On either side. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. Okay, now let's get started on the cover itself. I'm going to stick um, a couple of things inside the book to hold it a little bit more flat. There we go. Oh, I'm happy with that. That looks good. Okay, so this is from the die cut pack. It's going to be featured on the front. And I kind of talked about that throughout the album that that was the image that I wanted um, on the cover. And I know it kind of disappears in the flowers. So I've taken this frame, which is also from the die cut, placed yellow cardstock in between, popped it up on black cardstock. So we're going to use that to help this stand out more. Now I did the same thing here, um, put some yellow in the frame. And there's no pop and no black on the bottom because it's actually going to go underneath it. So it doesn't need to be popped. This one's popped and so is this. So this is on what I would say is, so this is the base layer. This is one pop and then this becomes two. Um, oh no, right now it's just one. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's going to go there, and i got to arrange that. I'm going to use the dream to go across here. We've got a butterfly and this um, fun um, paintbrush and a couple other elements in here that I may try to work in. But this is the basis for the cover. So this is what we're working with. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to get the dream down right away. And I don't like this little doodad sticking out, so I'm just going to cut it off. And ink it, and then we're going to lay in the dream, and then we'll kind of work around everything else. Oh, they're inside the book. I'm like, where's my ink? Okay. I thought about popping it, but I think I'm just going to lay it flat. And the dies, um, they're thicker than the paper, obviously, um, but they also have a nice little sheen to them, kind of like the stickers do. It's not quite as flat as the paper. Yay! I like it. Okay, so when I first planned this, I um, lost my train of thought. Oh, I didn't know that I was going to use a wrap. So I had kind of laid it out, but I hadn't laid it out against just this 8 by 8 space. So I'm going to fiddle around with it before I make a final decision. But I'm liking the way it's coming together so far. And then there are some... Go through my trays right now. There's other little goodies that we can use on this page too. I do. I wish the paintbrush wasn't so stylized. I wish it looked a little more like a real paintbrush. So I'm kind of steering away from that. Um, but there's lots of other little goodies in here that we can use. We've got stamps, which I like. I like this guy. I don't know why. And then I've got cut aparts from just leftovers. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I knew I had some more paper somewhere. It's in here. 
And then also I have um, a couple of the 12 by 12 scraps left over that you can cut uh, fussy cut the flowers out of if you want to. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Here we are. I think I'm liking this orientation the best. Yep. So basically these are two at two angles and then she's going to be straight. Okay, so that's done. We have, I'm not going to glue it to the page just yet. We have lots of little sayings. The glue doesn't work, it's not enough. I want to be careful since we've already got this up here, it might be too much. I like the um, tags and um, frames that graphics started doing. I think they're cool. Uh, I'm focused more on color than content right now. I'm, she's really pretty, but I think this is a better scale. But I'm going to cut this the top off and see if I pop it on top of here if it looks okay. It might be too big, so we're going to test it. Any differences? That's tougher than it looks. It might not look good, it might be too much, but we shall see. It's just that much bigger. I'm going to pop it. And I'm not using chipboard. I'm using pop dots because I can't cut chipboard anymore. That's just the way it is. I think um, I got mixed feelings. I kind of like the way it sticks out over the frame. I'm doing it. 
So this was just the um, die cut of Frida. And I just cut off her headdress and popped it on there and I like it. That's good. Okay, now this looks a little nude. So I'm gonna to try to figure out something to do here. I don't want to do too much because she is such a statement in and of itself. What other labels do I have? banners in here. Gotta be careful. I don't want to compete. I got this blue frame. That's fun. Oh, I like that. Okay, now the question is do I want to put something behind it? kind of like it. This is a little bit too small. I think that's too much of a competition. Kind of like that. I think I need to cover more of it. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. Let's see if I have this somewhere else. That's a bigger, if I've got a bigger one. white sticking out. I'm going to have to do something about that. Better. Okay, I think I'm going to have to use tape to hold that together.
Okay. I need another piece of foam. liking it definitely okay there's this let's get artsy i need something that goes on the seam but i don't I'm not happy with anything i see i do like my sticker let's look and see if there's stickers that i like better See, these are pretty, but it'll just disappear against this background. I kind of like it just because it's an organic shape. So that's a maybe. Right, I think I'm ready to glue this down. Looked at it long enough. I don't like to go all the way to the edge, although I did right there. Um, that way, if you want to come back and tuck something behind, you can. Um, it's not glued all the way down. Um, and that gives you some time to play around with it. And then once you get everything tucked in around or under, you can always come back and, you know, tack it down some more. Got to stand up. Two of those would be perfect, but there's only one yellow. Don't like it. Let's go back to the sticker sheet. What did I do? Here it is. looking at my strips to see if there's any words that I want to use. I think I'm done. Just a 
that it all starts, its art starts with imagination. Possibly, I mean, look at it for a minute. What if we just did something weird? Some things you can put sideways, that's not one of them. <laughs> oh, we've got our tickets. Might be just trying too hard to make something happen when it just, it's fine as is. Here's that paintbrush. See if we want a larger scale of the same thing. Kind of like that. We had so much stuff scattered about. Oh, look at my other little. Oh, yeah. I forgot about her. I really like her fingers are failing me now. I really like her. I think that's it. This is pretty, but it disappears. <laughs> I 
cut his face off, you can't even hardly tell where he was. It's terrible. Just cut off the butterflies. I know I wasn't talking for a long time. Sometimes when I'm fussing with the covers, it, I have to stop talking. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that phenomenon. Um, that is it. That's all she wrote. This is the last little thing that I was trying to figure out what to do with, but I don't like it. So we're not going to do anything with it. And that's that. I'm going to throw it out. <laughs> uh. 
And then also this frame, I really kind of wanted to reframe the things I don't like it. Yeah, don't like the orange for sure. Okay, that's it. Um, that is the cover, and that is it for this video. When I come back, we will do a, walk, a complete walkthrough. And um, yeah, and then all the tutorials will be available to build this album on your own when you're ready. I hope you enjoyed. This was a fun project. I, I like the paper a lot more than I thought I did when I first looked at it. Um, because of the, the you know, uh, sharp contrast, it's, it's pretty fun to work with. Um, I mentioned before that I have no 12 by 12s left um, and I'll tell you and by the way there's no inserts in here either um, I have one two three four five six seven eight of these left so you can make a handful of cards easily because one of them's uh, cut aparts plus there's lots of cut aparts and stickers left over um, just from what I've used so far. So not enough to do a whole nother project, but certainly enough to do a handful of, you know, pretty fun layered cards. So that's it. I'm going to post this on the channel to show you guys what I've done with this collection. I'll see you soon.